Looking at the issue of how much of an endowment is invested for the greater, uh, greater public good uh, and uh, providing incentives and encouragement for that uh, investment to do even more uh, in the communities. Obviously, there are uh, some uh, uh, institutions that, uh, because of their, their great wealth, uh, have greater capacity than many others to do this. Yale has an opportunity to expand access for education and create innovative jobs in this, in this bill. The bill encourages greater spending on support on local education and economic growth. By investing earnings from the endowment community, in the community, Yale will stimulate more job growth and open doors for higher education. By investing in community education spending and local economic stimulus, the endowment would remain still tax-free. We are not taking away the tax-free exemption. By investing earnings from its endowment into the community, Yale will stimulate growth and open doors that more students will have in trying to address it. It's a modest proposal. It's a, it has a logical place for Connecticut to be a leader in, uh, in making sure that there's an equitable distribution of what the taxpayers are offering these institutions in terms of uh, their, their not-for-profit status, in terms of the tax breaks that they receive. And it helps to incentivize, to put the right incentives in place, which is to use those funds for support of their own students and support for the local economy. And at Yale, in spite of a $25.6 billion endowment, we're not immune to these problems. In fact, the endowment continues to grow at a mind-boggling rate, while tuition costs have increased at the same time. 